<laughs> what do you know the famous saying in show business? No. Okay. The famous <laughs> saying in show business. Are we on? Yes. The famous saying in show business is, one day you eat the chicken, the next day you eat the feathers. That's um, Bern Nix, a very wonderful jazz musician, played with Arnett Coleman on Saturday Night Live in one of the great programs, and it was just marvelous, wonderful, the best music you've ever heard in the world. One night, and he thought, now I've made it, I'm going to have a career. A week later, he was on the same set, moving furniture as with his day job, right? So uh, that's totally uh, not on point about bird structure. But I want to start with bird structure by saying uh, we need to look at the bones. And when you have a turkey or some other kind of chicken, if you boil the bones and then get them to where there's very little meat on them and then soak them in Clorox and water, you can study and draw the bones. And you'll see that bird bones uh, are very similar to each other with slight differences for either flying or non-flying birds and different types of birds. As a matter of fact, their feet, which we almost never see, although the Chinese eat feet, uh, don't they eat, what do they call it, the feet? The feet are all adapted to different forms of uh, action. There's walking on mud, grasping, holding, uh, holding prey, uh, perching, as in a sparrow, paddling along water duck, um, gripping onto bark, woodpecker, chopping and clinging onto, hopping and clinging onto branches, pigeon. The first one was a heron, walking on mud. So the feet are very different, but there are four digits always. And in one, uh, um, well, they're separated in different ways, but you can study that. What we want is the body uh, structure. And the body structure of a bird is that it, there's a very large sternum, for the flying muscles or non-flying muscles, whatever, whether they fly or not, and a very long um, back sacrum and pelvic girdle. The very long um, pelvic girdle, which does not meet in the front. The pubic bone is uh, slender and long and goes towards the back. The ilium is up high and the ischium is low. And there's the acetabulum, just like we have an acetabulum, the bird has an acetabulum. But of course I should say, What's really important, the first thing is the, uh, the bony structure of the vertebrae and the backbone. So the bird has many, many uh, neck vertebrae. So I'll come down from the head here with, uh, and the, they come right into the back of the occipital. And there are many here, so the bird can often turn the head around, always go in 360 degrees. And their bony structure accommodates the um, arteries that go up so that the bird doesn't get dizzy and faint when turning his head all the way around. <laughs> 360? Huh? 360? Yeah, yeah, they do. They, they can keep going, and the way in which the blood vessels go, the blood vessels keep feeding the brain, and, uh, and birds are very intelligent, I think. And here are all the vertebrae, and then the, the um, rib region, uh, we see them a little in, uh, in descriptions of the back, and then their ribs, of course coming to the sternum. And the sternum has that keel up front, like a, it's flat, and then it has a keel to hold the muscles. And then the, uh, the sacrum is lots of vertebrae fused, and then there's caudal, or what would be in us, the uh, coccyx, and then a pygostyle in the back to, for the connection of the feathers. And the arm is made up of a coracoid bone, which is a, strut, a pair of coracoids, up to the wishbone, which is our clavicle. So when you do the wishbone, you really, our clavicle is not fused, but theirs is. You're really pulling apart the two clavicles that are fused in the center. And then there's a blade of scapula in the back that just is really a blade. And then the three together make a glenoid fossa with the humerus coming up, the radius and ulna, carpal bones, metacarpals, and uh, the little thumb going up to be control the flight, and uh, the second, the index finger, and the third finger. So the huge flight um, feathers are attached to that uh, finger, index finger, and it goes around like that. Let's go ahead with, and I'm going to then change one of the drawings of Jacqueline into a bird, but there was one I liked a lot, and I'm going to encourage you to do the same. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs>